Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out my top six free spigot plugins of 2021. Uh, some of these are used back in the last year's videos, but um, I kind of wanted to showcase what I kind of use for free plugins whenever I need them and what I recommend doing if you are low on budget and you want a decent server. So let's just get straight into it. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and joining the channel. Otherwise, leave a comment to let me know what plugins you want to see in the next few tutorial videos. Anyway, Luck Perms is my number one uh, free plugin this year, mainly because it is just massive. It has Bungie Cord, mod versions, they have Spigot versions. Uh, they, like, you can literally get Luck Perms for like a bunch of different Minecraft uh, platforms, which is great. I love how the it's so uh, big and open source. Open source is a huge thing, and I'm very glad that Luck Perms is open source. Um, so I highly recommend you check it out if you're in need of a permission system and are not um, able to buy something like Ultra Permissions or something like that, um, because Luck Perms is free, it's open source, um, and it supports so many platforms that it's just, it's a massive plugin, and it has so many features when it comes to permissions, and I highly recommend you check it out if you have any extra time. So, Luck Perms is number one. All of these are linked down in the descriptions, by the way, so you can go through the plugin page and look over everything they do. In my number two spot is a Sync World Edit. The reason why this is in my second spot, and last year it was just normal World Edit, is a Sync World Edit pretty much, it really 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 helps when you're world editing in your world because it gets rid of 99% of like all the lag that world edit causes as long as you're not spawning like a 10 billion block thing you should a sync world edit should prevent crashes and uh, prevent a lot of lag by world edit it connects to the world edit api and everything so it runs alongside it and it actually downloads world edit for you when you download a sync world edit um so i highly recommend checking it out they even have a premium version if you have extra money to spend on it which just improves a few things but the free version also does pretty much the exact same thing and works terrific so i highly recommend checking this out if you're having any problems with world edit if you're crashing stuff like that check out a sync world edit because it could really come in handy for your server and it's really useful because it is free um and then in my number three spot of course is placeholder api i can't go a day without recommending placeholder api to someone we use it in all of our plugins we uh use it as an api it, it's just like the best thing you can do when it comes to placeholders so pretty much what a placeholder api does is when you are running on a plugin a plugin can go ahead and add placeholders and then those placeholders can be used throughout the server in other ways um, as long as you have the plugin on the server which is terrific placeholder api is terrific it has lots of updates a very active discord server and stuff i highly recommend checking it out if you have um, any need for placeholders so you can do this in menus and any and any plugin can add support for placeholder api like our our plugin fate hub it adds support in every single message in fate uhc every single message can support any placeholders from placeholder api regardless of the plugin they're coming from so it's a great like middle ground when it comes to placeholders and getting everything uh together so i highly recommend you use this in every case even if you have no other plugins on your server Having placeholder API is really useful for when you start building up those plugins on your server. All right, in my number four spot this year is Ultra Cosmetics. Um, you may know that I use Pro Cosmetics, which is a premium plugin, quite often, but a lot of people were asking me, I don't have money to buy that, what would you recommend in return? I'm going to have to go with Ultra Cosmetics for two reasons. One, it has so many cosmetics, and two, it's open source. Um, I'm Obviously, open source is a big thing when it comes to all this, and I highly recommend open sourcing at least a few projects. Like, our paid plugins aren't open source, but all of our free ones are fully open source, which is terrific, and I really support the open source community because it's actually a great uh, community. you got lots of people contributing the projects and stuff, and I highly recommend you check it out. But Ultra Cosmetics, it includes like all of the different gadgets and all of that stuff. So that is really, really cool. And you can see it's used by a bunch of servers and um, it is really, really cool. So it supports 1.8 through 1.16 and you can check it out. Um, I'll leave the link down in the description as well. So I highly recommend it if you want cosmetics in your hub um, and it's really, really fun. Plus you can use the source code and edit it to your liking as well. All right, and my number five spot is advanced band. Now, if you don't know, I normally use light bands, but I also sometimes use advanced bands if I need just a free plugin that I can download and hop on my uh, server. And it's also open source once again, so that is terrific. Um, so advanced band is pretty much an all-in-one punishment system. It supports Bungie Cord, Bucket, Premium, and Crack servers, and all of that. You use MySQL. You can link punishments between your servers, kind of like how, um, kind of like how. Um, Light bands does it just free and kind of cool. You, you can even get a uh, advanced uh, GUI add-on. We even make a uh, like a uh, what's it called? 
like a punishment GUI system, which is really cool. There, there's so much you could do with this. It also has a web panel. Um, even though the official one's not available, they do have a uh, standalone web uh, alternative as well. They have a um, bunch of servers, bunch of stats, API, everything's really, really cool with that. Um, I highly recommend checking it out if you're in need of a punishment plugin. Uh, it can handle most stuff. Um, even though it doesn't do exactly everything that Lightbands does, it does a significant number of it. So I do recommend checking it out if you need one and you're low on money and can't afford Lightbands. So, Advanced Ban is my suggestion for that. And then finally, which is my sixth plugin on the list, which is kind of a, um... <laughs> kind of a utility plugin compared to the other ones, and that is Protocol Lib. Protocol Lib is actually used by a significant pr number of projects in the Spigot community. Uh, we use it in some of our stuff, a bunch of people use it in other things. Alone, you're not going to be able to do much with this, but there's a lot that use it. Holographic Displays uses it, um, Premium Advantages uses it. There's so many other things that uh, use it, and I really recommend using it. And I really recommend if you're a developer as well to use it because it can really come in handy on a lot of different projects, especially when you um, are just working and needing to use packets or NMS and don't want to mess with it too much. Protocol Lib makes it so much easier to just deal with that um, all in one. There's no big deal with it um, and it's really easy to get done. Um, so those are my top six choices. There are so many free plugins on Spigot though. Um, even if you just go click the resource section, you could go through here and find so many free plugins. Um, you could even sort by, even if you wanted to get rid of premium, there's only a thousand premium, but over 47,000 free Spigot plugins. So just sort by Spigot or whatever you need, search by it, find a plugin that does what you want it to do, because there are so many, even, there's even, like, APIs for just commands and stuff. If you're getting into developing, you can easily get started by just using some of this. And I highly recommend checking it out, um, whenever you can. Go, go through the resource section, find plugins that you like, find something that you think will make your server more unique and more fun to play on. Um, there, there's so many, and I, I found plugins for almost everything I could need, just free plugins, even if there was a paid alternative. There are so many free plugins that kind of do the same thing, and I really recommend checking out both the free and paid ones if you have money to support the development, especially of a free plugin. If you find money and you really like the free plugin and you don't even want to get the paid plugin, why don't you give the money that you just earned to the fee free plugin developer because they're making it free they're not making money off of it um there, there's so much things you can do support them in open source even help them code the plugin with open source would also be amazing so just make sure to support the free community on spigot um because they do a lot of work obviously 50,000 almost 50,000 resources is insane so make sure to support the open source community the free community on spigot because it is a huge, huge part of it. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this list kind of made sense for you. And hopefully it gave you some insight onto all the plugins that I recommend. If you want to see our paid version, which is our top five premium plugins of Spigot, that will be coming out in the next two weeks. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for uh, hanging with me today. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. And I will see you in the next video.